hello welcome to this lesson of our study of vectors so um in this video we just go through a very simple question but looks somehow tricky like i said okay on division of vectors okay so in this video like i said we we'll just discuss about an example on division of vectors okay so um, if you are not subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe okay so that you support it as well now the points a b c lie on a plane so that a b the vector a b is given by this one 2i plus 7j and the point a c is also given by this okay now the point d lies on the straight line segment b c so that b d is to d c that is the distance is 1 over 2. Now determine a simplified expression in terms of i and j for bd. Also, you are supposed to show that the distance ad is approximately 4 units. Okay, so let's go ahead and start working on this. Okay, so we know that all the vectors given you see, this is ab, its initial point is what a. This is AC, its initial point is also A. So it means that the AB and AC, we can use um, our idea in triangle law to sketch them. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Let's say this is AB and let's say this is AC. Okay, and this line will give me, let's say, BC because we've been told something about BC. Okay, and there's a line segment joining. Uh, line segment that divides B and C, B, C, the line B, C, okay, so a point actually divided, okay, so this is how you divide it. Now with this, let's go ahead and take, this is my A, this C, this is B, okay, I have A, B, I have A, C here, and there's a third line, third point, which is D, the D, this is what we want, okay. And so we are supposed to find a simplified expression for BD. You are supposed to find BD. Okay. Now, BC, the question said that, you know, um, the, s the point D lies on the straight line segment BC. Okay, so it means that it should, um, this is how it's supposed to be. BC is like this, the direction is supposed to be going this way okay and this d devices in the ratio bd the distance bd is to dc okay so bd is to dc is one is to two it means that here is one here is two okay like that and this ab is giving us ab is giving us 2i plus 7j so you can write it here 2i plus 7j and ac it's also giving us, um, AC is giving us 4i minus 5j, okay? So 4i minus 5j. Meaning, if I'm supposed to find BD, then BD, I can only know BD when I know AD, okay? Because BD will be equal to, you let me write a formula so that you know what I'm trying to say. Considering triangle, let's consider them in terms of triangle okay so let's say from triangle um a b d okay from a to b to d only this triangle okay we can say that a b and b d they are like a b moves and end at the initial point of b d so in other words they are going the same direction okay so the sum is a b plus BD should be equal to AD, okay? I hope you get it now. And we can also consider another triangle, okay? So let me try and say that, um, or just let's maintain them like this, okay? But we know that BD, okay, divided by BC, are using an idea here that we know should be equal to 1 over 2 okay 
the uh, the fraction the ratio or the fraction of the ratios okay and also from this is a fact i should have stated earlier okay so let's put that somewhere and also from triangle um how do you call it a c d okay this a c then d okay from that triangle we see that um a d okay plus how do i call it um d c should be equal to um a c okay i hope you get it now now um i want to find a d because a b we can put a b and a c in our solution so let's call this equation one okay and let's call this equation two all right i hope i hope you can see what i'm trying to prove here then it means that uh this thing let's let's go ahead and see let's go let's go back and check something so we have a b plus b d okay a b plus b d should be equal to a d in the equation one so it means that b d is equal to a d minus a b i hope you get it now and also if i go to the other side we could see that a d plus b c is equal to a c in the second equation and from that i can also say that d c is also equal to a c minus a d okay and if you remember we said that b d over d c should be equal to one over two okay this one should be equal to one over two and this this implies that b d is given as this and d c is given as this so i have a d minus a b okay over a c minus a d should be equal to one over two okay so from this i can multiply cross multiply and then work this okay so i have two here what do we have a d minus a b okay so i have a d minus a b okay should be equal to one into what do we have for the other one a c minus a d okay a c minus a d okay all right so with this 2 a d minus 2 a b you can you can actually like represent the a c and then a d and the rest with some small letters so that it doesn't confuse you okay but i can do them straight that is why i'm, I'm putting them like that so i have 2 a d plus another a d here should be equal to a c here plus 2 a b then 3 a d should be equal to a c plus 2 a b means a d here should be equal to 1 over 3 a c plus 2 a b now this has become simple because i know my a c i know my a b so i just put them in so it means um sorry means that my a d is simply equal to 1 over 3 into now a c is 4i minus 5j that is my a c then plus 2 a b a b is also 2i plus 7j okay so this will be 1 over 3 4i minus 5j plus 4i plus 14j okay and this will give me 1 over 3 8i plus 9j if i multiply through by 1 over 7 i'll get 8 over 3i okay 8 over 3i plus 3j 
okay that's my ad um yeah that is it okay so ad is that this one is my ad now if you remember i said something like this that in our first equation so equation one we want to find a simplified a simplified expression for bd okay so in this equation here we can make bd the subject so it means that bd bd which is what you want for the first question will always be equal to ad minus ab and ad is giving us 8 over 3i plus 3j minus ab which is 2i plus 7j okay like that and this will give me 8 over 3i plus 3j minus 2i plus 7 sorry minus 7j rather minus 7j so the whole of this will give us 2 over 3i and minus 4j so that's the first question we're supposed to find okay that's bd now bd is given so yeah okay now let's go back ahead and look at ad the second question is saying that we should find magnitude of ad and verify that it is approximately four units so the magnitude of ad is actually equal to the square root of eight on three squared plus three squared okay and this will be equal to um, the square root of um, let me you can point this straight away in a calculator and you get 145 square root of 145 over 3 and this in decimals is 4.01386 which is approximately indeed 4 units okay so i hope you you, you can see how we went about in you know solving this question okay so anytime you've been given division some vectors in some ratios we'll be solving a lot of questions like this but then i just want to tell you that try to represent them grammar like in, in, in on um, a diagram form okay in a pictorial form so that you can see how the thing is and picture it well and get your right answer okay so thank you and once again don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed if you have subscribed thank you and also share it and like it as well